Choose your weapon. Choose your weapon is the uh, theme of today. We are trying to go up to the temple here in Prachuap Kirikan and uh, there's monkeys everywhere so... A lot of monkeys. <gasps> oh no! I'm scared of him even though he... I have the stick. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Oh there's so many of them everywhere. Mau Mau! Oh. Oh, there's some uh, market vendors down there that are selling fruit and offerings and so on and they are encouraging us to go up but I'm a little bit scared because I have a little tote bag here on the side where we carry our camera equipment and a bottle of water in so uh, yeah, I'm just kind of worried that the monkeys will think that I have some food but I don't so I yeah. feel like I feel like we're in an episode of Lord of the Rings or something walking around with this big stick and wandering up <laughs> to the side of hilltops just to get a nice viewpoint but uh, this place I have no idea how many steps it is up to the top but it's currently midday scorching heat outside and it's gonna take a while I think as well to get up there <laughs> what's the monkey situation like? Oh, it's fine some part uh, is 20 there is one part I don't like really <laughs> oh but no it's okay <laughs> you, you didn't take a stick? <laughs> you, you went with no stick? Yeah, no stick. No, no, it's no, okay. We, we don't know where that we can get this. Oh, was just on the bottom. Ah, okay, okay. We don't know. See. Oh my god. But there is one part. Uh, I tell you, this is maybe uh, 100 meters after. Yeah. Oh, oh no. At the end, you will see oh. a door, but you can open. You can open. The, the yeah. Oh, okay. Inside, there is no. Be no. careful, your camera. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> merci. Thank you, merci. <laughs> wow. Okay have to be very careful guys, I'm holding the camera obviously and that's something that they might want as well but uh, we should be fine, I'll get this fucking guy they're all very well fed yeah, and they're all uh, big chunks, no? yeah they're all big did not uh, come across many little mini monkeys so far, they're all pretty much like up to my knee or up to my waist I saw one on the street that was massive <sighs> this is the view so far you have a view here onto this gorgeous temple and then you have the backdrop of beautiful Prachwap and believe it or not guys currently we are around 10 kilometers from Myanmar so just over here is Myanmar or Burma very cool and I'm sure we're gonna get an even better view of Myanmar and also the Prachwap Bay as well when we get up here if we get up <laughs> if we make it up yeah right now I'm, I'm, I'm like to be honest I'm a little bit scared <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm usually very good in situations that I can control and I know what's going to happen but monkeys are very uncontrollable so I'm just sort of like oh I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this but uh, yeah we're trying <laughs> yeah like I was saying guys the stuff that you do just to get a nice view hey well currently right now it is January 2024 and uh, very hot very very hot and dry luckily we are in dry season at the moment but along with that comes this midday dry heat and it makes things like this going up 
almost vertical stairs. Pretty difficult, but we'll see if the view is worth it at the top. I'm sure it will be. Kind of thinking, maybe stop here. This is a nice view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I have a little bit more to go. Should be fine. And this temple, this is the, the main pier just here of Prachuap. And last night, we took a walk out all the way to the end of the pier. And from the end of the pier, you can see this. It's well lit up at night and it looks like a big floating castle and uh, very majestic. And that's the whole reason why we wanted to start today off by trekking up here and bring you guys along with us as well. <laughs> now, let's fight past the rest of these monkeys. Forward. Okay, <laughs> so we just walked past a group. I prefer monkeys and zoos. <laughs> there was probably around 30. I'm gonna start crying. 30 or 40 monkeys in that little hut because there's shade there from the blistering sun. Ah, that was an experience, I'll tell you what. I'm thankful I turned the camera on so I could walk through, but I could not speak while walking through there. I was just trying to get through as quick as possible. I didn't even breathe. Yeah. Speaking about camera, I was just like, I'm not existent. Don't, don't think I'm a person. Oh God, that was scary. Oh. There you guys. The stairs just keep continuing. I, I thought we would already be there. <laughs> yeah, I really thought after the last set of stairs that I showed you, that that would bring us to the top, but I think we have a couple hundred more stairs to go up here and then back up here and this is the summit let's have a look here at this rest stop place here oh my god oh, do you think that's why the monkeys are sitting in the hut just to enjoy the view they're enjoying the view and they're in also the in the shade yeah this view is spectacular and uh, we're still nowhere near the top Wow, you can see, it's very very clear at the moment, you can see for miles this way, and here we have the, the airbase. Are you behaving like Gandalf with your stick now? Yeah. You shall not pass! <laughs> <laughs> Over here guys, we only learned this uh, yesterday, because there was tons of fighter jets that were zooming around in the air of Prachwap, and we didn't know why. And then we realized that just over here is an airbase for the Thai Air Force. So that is fascinating and it was really interesting to see the fighter jets zipping around in the air and doing some practice or whatever they were doing. But very, very cool to see. And again, amazing to be able to see Myanmar here in the near distance. It is, I had a look yesterday on Google and Myanmar is roughly around 10 to 12 kilometers from where we are right now. That's crazy. And I'm sure that uh, it would make for a great place to hop over and uh, explore Myanmar if there wasn't such civil unrest in that country right now. It's very sad. It's a place that both of us would love to explore and it's a place that we definitely have a connection with even though we've never really been there because we spent some time with the hill tribes in northern Thailand and got to meet many people that fled Myanmar and spoke to them and yeah it's a place that I think one day we will have to go and explore. 
I think if you do like guided tours into Myanmar, it's fine. Yeah. But I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, maybe you guys know a little bit more. I heard somebody say once that you need a guide to actually get the visa, like a seven day round trip or something. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on this. Yeah, let us know down in the comments, guys. Further up we're going, there seems to be less and less monkeys, which is a great, great thing for us. Uh, so let's head up to the top and see what we can see. There is as well a beautiful temple complex from what I can see from here as well. Okay, we're more or less on the top. I'm as out of breath as ever. Um, but up there, there's a sign saying, Welcome to the conqueror of Khao Chong Kra Krashok 396 steps so now we know how far we actually walked oh. 396 steps now if you ever do visit thailand make sure to train beforehand on a stairmaster or something like that <laughs> because whenever you want to see something great it's usually on a hill yep. and there's usually stairs involved so yeah just get yourself ready beforehand my god guys every time i hear something i'm just like it's a monkey. I need to protect myself. Yeah. Even though I'm like the least intimidating person with the stick, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually when there is a very worthwhile temple to visit, it's on top of a big hill. So definitely prepare your fitness before coming to visit a beautiful Southeast Asian country. This is gorgeous. We're nearly there. It's the final stretch. Once opens, please close it. Be careful with monkeys. Yeah, it was open now. I heard. So, this is something to watch out for, guys. If you do visit here, this gate uh, it is typically closed, and that's I have no idea. I think it's just to keep monkeys out. That's why there's barbed wire up here as well. But monkeys can climb, monkeys can climb, yeah. But uh, this is usually closed, but don't worry, you can still open it even if it appears like it is maybe locked or whatever, it is open. Oh yeah, let's close it. I think the, oh, the French guys that came down probably didn't read the sign. Ah, that's okay. There's a dog. Not everybody speaks Thai or English. But yeah, we made it. And this is definitely very beautiful. So the first thing I think we should w check out is the view and oh my god the view <sighs> gorgeous beautiful prachwap kirvikan i'm just trying to stand in the shade it's so hot oh, i really thought after all of these years of being in asia now we would be prepared for stuff like that but no Nope. My sunscreen is running into my eyes. My eyes are burning. <laughs> it's a great day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, very special. Prachwap Khan is a very underrated place. It's a very interesting place as well. Um, vast majority of the people that we are coming across in Prachwap are sort of in the retirement bracket. I guess you could say so bet between the age of 50 to 65 ish and older uh, which is I can see why because Prachuap it's a very relaxed very quiet place um, very scenic the locals here are incredibly friendly and relaxed and um, yeah the whole vibe of this place is perfect to retire now in terms of coming here as a tourist i would say it's definitely worth coming here for a few days and uh, checking it out and um, there's plenty to eat there's very nice night markets that are in sort of the main square area as well and last night there was a very long night market that stretched all along the pier area too so keep that in mind it's well worth 
a one or two day stop over to explore here check out this place and there's a couple other places that we want to check out as well on this side you also have a really cool view and beaches as well that we weren't even aware do you want some water yeah we so far have only been exploring this side because uh, this time around quite frankly we did not rent a scooter so we're not going too far we're only sort of walking but uh, on this side you seem to be having a lot more beach and actually there's people that are enjoying the beach that are enjoying the ocean and so on so it does oh it's a little bit more rough there in the back there might be a little bit higher waves going on as well um, but yeah we weren't even aware that this was a thing here very very beautiful it's only when you come up to something that's this high and you get these types of views that you can truly understand where you are so definitely check yeah. this out if you're coming here because it definitely gives us a little bit more of a mind map as to what we're working with there's also this entire side of the bay here oh, that looks <laughs> Be a little more careful with your stick. I left my stick outside. <laughs> uh, so in case a monkey attacks, uh, my stick is outside. I cannot defend myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, on this side you can also see the entire sort of bay that is coming out here on the right and the peninsula that is included. And you can also even see the next bay, uh, which is super, super cool to see. And here on the left you seem to have some sort of river system as well, which might be like a mix of fresh and salt water again. Um, but there's some boats parked down here as well, probably some sort of fishermen boats or something like that. So, And it looks like they're doing maybe some fish farming or crustacean farming or shrimp farming, something, all of the farmings that have to do with aquatic life, you know. Um, but yeah, first time being up here. Can you believe it? How beautiful is this? My God. It's also high tide. The beach is gone where the, oh, yeah. the beach usually is. I just saw that there. In the evening time, you have like a really wide stretch of sand, like sort of what I'm showing you here on the camera. Uh, there's no sand basically at all, just down here, teeny tiny bit. That's probably why the people are over there swimming because uh, in, the, in the beginning we thought maybe you can swim sort of here in the distance but uh, it's all landing stretch for and uh, taking off stretch as well from the air base down there and uh, so yeah you cannot really enjoy the beach there I mean you can I think you can enter you can go there because there's some um, stuff sort of here at the end that you can go to there's like a place called monkey statue or something monkey hill or something monkey, monkey hill mountain, yeah. monkey mountain where there's a different type of monkey it's not the macaque so it's not the uh, iffy kind of monkey let's say it like that yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you can go there but I don't think that you can enjoy the beach. You can just walk through the airbase and then basically get out on the other side. That's, that's all that you should be doing on the airbase unless you're a soldier. <laughs> Luke said just there that he went onto a Google Maps quest, as he usually does in the evening time. And uh, I hope you can see it here. There's this one street here that sort of goes up. At the end of that street is basically the border to Myanmar and the mountains there in the back. Also already Myanmar. Wow. Beautiful. So beautiful. Also this entire temple up here is absolutely stunning with all of the beautiful colorful flowers here and the white temple the white architecture thai architecture absolutely stunning Ooh. you've got some uh, very thick mangroves over on this side have a look oh, oh yeah you do i thought that it was a much larger sort of river system that connects with the next city but it doesn't look like it it looks like it's more 
just a mangrove place or maybe maybe wait there's a river there okay so this side looks like mangrove maybe where you can sort of park your boat <laughs> and then you have a river going down there and you can very much see it in the distance as well uh, going north towards Bangkok from here I don't know if it actually goes all the way to Bangkok the river potentially maybe no idea guys let us know <laughs> we're always keen to learn always yeah this is the perfect place for meditations prayings mindfulness and so on it's just so quiet and peaceful up here up here I don't know how they do it obviously they have this barbed wire to keep the monkeys out but I would assume that the monkeys find a way in anyway because there's usually in temples there's offerings with fruit and so on um, it's like normally anyway and uh, I would assume that the, that the monkeys would try and get in here in order to get the fruit but maybe they're just attacking people on the way up <laughs> and taking the fruit off of the people then and there that's another possibility Wow, even the pagoda up here is so stunning. It's all gold. Beautiful. That's where we were just now, in that little housey there. Three and then, views. yeah, 360 views. And then you have a golden pagoda with an orange textile there. Wow, so stunning. It's so hot. I'm so red, oh my god. <laughs> Right guys, so we've uh, genuinely been up here now, I want to say for about two and a half hours, just talking to people. And um, there's nothing better to be honest, we're just basically clearing the air, we met some lovely people. And one of them is actually a fellow YouTuber, so I want to give him a quick little shout out, this is Richie. Hey, how are we doing? <laughs> Good to meet you. He's That's an absolute a legend, from Nord Northerner from England. I am from and, uh, Donington. Oh, there you go. <laughs> shout Rich, out. Richie Parkinson. Yes, Richie Parkinson. So a shout out. This fella is a legend. He's uh, We've been talking to him now for a good while. And uh, he's really down to earth. If you like our channel, you're going to love his channel. Richie with so, a Y. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But uh, give this guy... Well, pop, well, actually, I'll screen grab your, your, your channel and I'll pop it up here oh, brilliant. on the screen. Brilliant. But yeah, give him a, give him a subscribe, guys. Because this guy is... Uh, He's traveling around Thailand, he's on his way to Malaysia and he has plenty of uh, videos. He's posting literally every day, so uh, check him out. And um, yeah, like I said, really, really down to earth. If you want to see how you can travel on a budget, this is your man. So check him out, Richie Parkinson, right here. And he's going to probably be joining us on the way back down. We have some monkeys that we have to fight through uh, on the way back down. And then we're going to be grabbing some lunch. <laughs> I don't know, this probably just looked like a handicap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, the view doesn't get much better, and that's why we've literally just been sitting in the shade um, away from the beaten sun. Just to walk up here is pretty difficult, but I'm not gonna lie, it is worth it. 100%. Let's make our way down and get some lunch. See down there, you have a, that's a prison. See over yeah, there, the yeah, prison. My accommodation is just past the, Ooh. just past the football ground as well. That's crazy. Oh, Naomi forgot her stick. Do you want to give thanks? Huh? He wants to, it's also invite, you can give thanks to the Buddha. Oh, cool. I've just been to Buriram as well. Buriram? Yeah, I want yep. to catch the football. But yep. um, they're, they're having a month break at the moment. Oh. So uh, yeah, Buriram United, the best team in Thailand. Uh, I went to the ground. 
Ja. Og så kommer til her, vi også. Ja, ja. Både den der, hvis der er hårdtag. Ja, ja. Både der bor om i nærmest hårdtag. Oh, klar. Så du kan stå i det hårdtag, og man går til her nærmest der. No way. Hvad er atmosfæren like at the games? Jeg er ikke vant. Jeg er ikke vant. Jeg er ikke vant. Jeg er ikke vant. Ja, ja. Jeg har været til et par Kanchanaburi games. Ja. Kanchanaburi Tigers. Men... Do you follow the football from the from back home? I'm a Leeds United fan. Leeds United, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> Guys, this place is unbelievable. Huh? You wanna? Is, is there something in there to? I already gave things. You wanna bring it? Just to. Yeah. Just to show you guys. Really, really, really Very you nice meeting you. Yeah, really nice to meet you. <laughs> Richie, check him out, guys. He's an absolute legend. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, enjoy your enjoy your lunch. I'll catch you again, man. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll hit you up on Instagram. Right, yeah, guys, it's just to show you quickly. Of course, it's nice views and so on, but it's also an active temple up here. So if you want to, you can give thanks here. I just did that. <sighs> this place is so so beautiful. We're delighted to be up here and to have such a beautiful day, make new friends and so on. I'm just, I don't know, I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic. <laughs>